Now I have managed to find something very interesting. If you look in that hole, there's actually, can you see there's, there's something furry inside there. Now let's see if it moves. Can you see it moving there? It's a little genet, everyone. A genet is hiding in the tree. It's obviously still resting and might might move around a little bit later or come out of the hole. So pro probably been sleeping in that hole. I'll try and make a sound. Sometimes they, they can get curious. They might stick its head it might stick its head out of that hole. Let's see if I can coax him out or her. There we go, see it moving? Can you see the spots there? Very clearly. Oh, this is amazing. And unfortunately they are very shy and it's still a bit too early for that genet to come out. But you might see the head moving every now and then. Come on. Not interested in my little calls. Watch, there it goes. Come on, we just want to see your face. See the tail? There's that beautiful tail moving. With the rings, prominent black and white rings around the tail. There we go. Okay, thank you. You say I've got a good eye. Thank you very much. I just caught a glimpse of this in the hole and um, and it moved for us. I'll show you. Paula, now you're asking what exactly is a genet. I'll show you a photo of one. Looks like that one's managing. Oh, it's, it's going up the high up. You can see moving through the, the hole over there. The next hole, Seb, it was moving through there. So it's now climbed all the way up through there. Wow, so this whole tree is hollow. I mean, for that Jenna to be able to move up through there. Oh, it's such a pity. I was hoping. I'm just going to see if there's another hole somewhere. I don't think so. Hold on a second, let me just look this side. You know what Seb, hold on, let me just turn around quickly. Maybe we get a glimpse of it, just stick with us for a second. I was hoping we might get the face sticking out of that hole. Maybe it went all the way up through there, but no, it doesn't look like it. A very, very shy creatures, and like I said, mainly nocturnal. Um, but oh, that is so cool to find a little genet during the day hiding in a tree, resting. Now I'll find a picture of one quickly for you. So I can show you. Now a lot of people refer to them as as um, as cats. They're not they're not cats. In fact, there we go. That's a little genet. Oh, hold on, sorry. There we go. See that? Very very cute little animal. And you can see that pattern now. That's exactly what we saw in the tree. Those beautiful blotches on the body, and then the tail, which is completely ringed. And you can see that. Over there, you see that those white and black rings <clears throat> around the tail. Now they in a family known as Viveridae. Uh, if you want to get scientific about the families of the, the animals, so civets and genets they fall under this family, and also people refer to the civet cat, and that's a that's a civet. Um, it's not a cat, also not a cat, part of the Viveridae family. Uh, the African civet, but they, they are related, and these little genets, um, <coughs> they look cat-like, don't they? They do indeed look, sorry, Seb, there we go, they do look cat-like, but they're not, uh, they're not cats at all. Um, it almost looks like somebody has 
squashed the cat and then stretched it. Um, <laughs> and I once heard a friend of mine describe a Jenna to guess. He said the best way I des can describe it is if you take a house cat and then you basically stretch it <laughs> and give it a longer tail. That's what a Jenna is. But like I say, they're not cats at all. They'll feed on insects and that at night, moving around. They are mainly nocturnal. So to see one moving or hiding in a tree like that is quite special. And that's where they do like to sleep and hide in the holes or bark of trees, somewhere hollowed out where they can be safe. So that was really nice. Wasn't that a good surprise?